Hi, I am Amit Lunkar. In this video, we discuss in detail about the structural activity relationship of acetylcholine. Acetylcholine is nothing but the cholinergic drug. So now here we discuss the structural activity relationship of acetylcholine. Here is the structure of acetylcholine and which having a onium group or quaternary ammonium group, then ethylene bridge and acetoxy group. Uh, in this video, we discuss modification of these three groups and the effect of this to the activity. So let's one by one we discuss this point structural activity relationship. So first is about the modification of the onium group. First point is onium group is the optimal functional requirement for activity or you may say that this onium group is essential one for showing the activity. Although following are the exceptions which doesn't having the onium group but still it having a cholinergic action like example are pilocarpine, arecholine and nicotine which are the alkaloids and which are having a very good nicotinic as well as the muscarinic action same to that of acetylcholine even though it doesn't having a presence of onium group. Moving to the second point Primary, secondary or tertiary amines are less active than quaternary amines. Replacement of methyl group by ethyl or large alkyl groups produces inactive compounds. So this nitrogen must possess a methyl group. If you change that methyl group by any large alkyl group, then it produces inactive compound. Replacement of nitrogen by arsenic, antimony, phosphorus or sulfur atom produces less active compound and these compounds are not used clinically. Like if you replace the nitrogen by sulfur then you may say there is a sulfonium ion get formed. If uh, you replace the nitrogen by arsenic then arsenium ion get formed. So these form compounds which are less active and not used clinically. Moving to the next one, modification of the ethylene bridge. So the first point regarding this, as the chain length is increased from two carbon atoms to more than two carbon atoms, the activity is reduced. If you observe, there are the in between the quaternary nitrogen and the terminal carbon which are having a four atoms in between this. So you may also say that if you increase the atoms in between the methyl group and quaternary amine then it will lead to reduced activity. Even though if you uh, decrease the chain size means if the only methyl group is also present it will also affect the activity. Replacement of hydrogen atoms of the ethylene bridge by methyl group leads to equal or greater activity. Groups larger than methyl leads to a decrease in the activity. Like here, here is a CH2 and CH2 group. So this H, this hydrogen, if you replace by methyl group, then you may get the same activity or you may also get the greater activity. But other than methyl group, if you replace by a higher alkyl group, then it will be reduce the activity. The alpha or beta methyl substituted derivatives affect selectivity of receptors like the carbon which are attached to this uh, quaternary nitrogen which is we denote as a alpha and next to that which is a beta carbon. So if you replace the one of the hydrogen by methyl group from this alpha or from this beta carbon then it will be have a selectivity like if you replace the hydrogen which are attached to beta carbon then it will be increase the muscarinic activity like example is methacholine so here is the example of methacholine in which there is a attachment of methyl group or replacement of one hydrogen by methyl group and this carbon which is 
बीटा वन सो एज ड्यू टू दिस मॉडिफिकेशन इट हैविंग अ हाई मस्करनिक एक्शन और इट हैविंग अ हाई सिलेक्टिव मस्करनिक एक्शन विच इज बिकॉज ऑफ ओरिएंटेशन ऑफ मिथिल ग्रुप ऑफ मिथाकोलिन इन द सेम पोजिशन एज अ मिथिलीन ग्रुप इन मस्करिन एंड ऑल्सो दिस ड्यू टू दिस मॉडिफिकेशन और दिस एडेड मिथिल ग्रुप इनहिबिट द अटैक ऑफ स्टरेज एंजाइम एंड दस इट स्लो डाउन एंजाइमेटिक हाइड्रोलिस सो दिस इफेक्ट इज बेनिफिशियल वन The presence of methyl group alpha two quaternary nitrogen atom increases the nicotinic activity. Example is acetyl alpha methyl choline. So here we have just seen now that you uh, replace the alpha hydrogen or beta hydrogen, then there is a increase in selectivity. So if you replace the beta hydrogen, then it having a selectivity towards muscarinic receptor and if you replace the hydrogen by methyl group to this alpha carbon then it having a selectivity towards nicotinic receptor moving to the next one modification of acyl group first point is the higher homologous of methyl group like propionyl or butyl group are less active than acetylcholine here is the methyl group if you replace by higher alkyl group like pro, uh, propyl group or butyl group then it will produce a less action esters of aromatic or higher molecular weight acids possesses cholinergic antagonistic activity instead of agonistic activity so if you replace this methyl group by any aromatic ring or presence of any higher molecular weight acids then instead of agonist it will become say antagonist next point is when the terminal methyl group is replaced by amino group that is ns2 group resulting into a compound having potent cholinergic action the form compound is called carbamic acid ester and which having both muscarinic as well as a nicotinic activities example is Uh, bitnicol and carbacol so here is a structure and in which the terminal methyl group get replaced by the ns2 group and due to that replacement or due to that substitution it having a same molecular size and this modification is also enhances the stability of compound so it is also beneficial one replacement of ester group with ether or ketone produces chemically stable and potent compound so here it is a if this ester if you replace it by ether or ketone then it also having a very stable chemically stable and potent compound get form so here we discuss the modification which we done to the acetylcholine structure and what is the effect of that hope all of you getting this thank you and happy learning